Hello, I am Flash Isaac. One thing that I've noticed over the years is that a lot of students, even some teachers, have problems working with fractions and decimals. For example, if I say 4 divided by 1, you simply tell me 4, right? How about I say 1 divided by 4? What comes to your mind? If you are not with a calculator and you've not done something like this before, you begin to imagine. How do I do this? So this short video will cover how to convert decimals to fraction, how to divide when it comes to fraction. When you see something like this and you are not with a calculator, what do you do? Also, I will quickly explain the differences between decimal places and significant figures. Look at this. Given this value, 0.003821. This is a decimal number because of this decimal point. If I say round off to three decimal places, you simply start counting from here. This is first decimal one, two, three. So this is the third decimal place. You simply say 0.00. .00. Since the next number is more than four, we approximate. So we round off, this becomes four. If I say round this off to Four decimal places. You start counting from here. One, two, three, four. Yes. So this is not more than four. It's not even up to five. So it doesn't matter. We simply say this is 0 0.0038 to four decimal places. But if I say run this off to three significant figures, three significant figures, it is a different ball game. This is what you do. The first significant figure is the first number that is not zero. The first number that is not zero. So looking at this, the first non-zero number is three. So three is the first significant figure. The second significant figure is any number after the first significant figure, whether zero or not zero. For example, this is the first significant figure the second is 8. If it were 0, it will see the second significant figure. The third significant figure is 2. So, rounding this off to three significant figures, it is simply 0 0.00382. If I give you this, and I say change this to fraction, what do you do? You bring it out. This is a decimal number, 0 0.25. Now, take note of here, start moving this point towards your right. We move once, right? Move again twice. Since we move two times, we simply say 100, two zeros. Then you proceed. Write everything out minus the decimal point because we've already moved it down. This becomes 0, 2, 5 over 100. Now, 0 to 5 is the same thing as 25 because this 0 doesn't count. So this is 25 over 100. You can choose to break down 25 divided by 5. That is 5. 100 divided by 5. That is 20. So this is the same thing as 5 over 20. We can still break it down. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So this is 1 over 4. Similarly, 0 0.5 is the same thing as moving here once we got it to the end. So that is 1, 0, 10. So 5 over 10. This is the same thing as 5 over 10. And what is 5 over 10? 5 over 10 is equals 1 over 2. You see? Now look at this. How do you convert this to fraction? It is simply, look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros. So this means we get 0, 0, 2, 5, 0 over 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros. This doesn't count, so this is the same thing as 250 over 10,000. You can say, okay, let one zero cancel one zero. This becomes 25 over 1,000. You see? 
So we've gotten towards something like this. How about something like this? If I say 10 divided by 5, it's 2. Correct. How about I say 5 divided by 10? How do you go about that? This is what you do. 5 over 10, right? Simply say equals. We know that 10 is bigger than 5. So since the number at the top is smaller, there will certainly be 0. So 5 divided by 10 simply put down 0. Point. There will certainly be 0. Then you, you, you think. Looking at this zero, bring out another, bring another imaginary zero. Add to it to give you fifty imaginary zero. This time around, we are now having fifty divided by ten. What is fifty divided by ten? Five. This cancels this. Five over one is five. Five. So this is simply zero point five. Simple, right? How about this? Fifty divided by ten is obviously five. Yeah. What about ten divided by fifty? We look at this 10, 50. 10 divided by 50. We can simply say there is 0 here and there is 0 here. So this can cancel this to give us 1 over 5. We can do that. If it is 1 over 5, 1 divided by 5 will certainly have 0 because 1 is lesser than 5. This is an improper, this is a proper fraction because the numerator is smaller. Than the denominator. This is improper fraction. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So given this, we already have zero point. They add imaginary zero here. Then 10 divided by 5, this is equals 2. So 10 over 50 is 0 0.2. If we are doing this direct, it will be 10 50 equals 10 is lesser than 50. So put down 0 point. Add imaginary zero here to give you 100 divided by 50, which is 2. Now, how about this? 3 divided by 5 divided by 10 over 4. If you are given something like this, 3 over 5 divided by 10 over 4. What you should always do is to change the division to multiplication. How do you do that? Simply say 3 over 5 times 4 over 10. So immediately you invert this. The numerator goes up, the, the denominator goes up, and the numerator comes down. This automatically changes to multiplication. So 3 over 5 divided by 10 over 4 is the same thing as 3 over 5 times 4 over 10. Now what does this give you? This is 12 over 50. So 2, 12 divided by 2 is 6, 50 divided by 2, that is 25. Look at this. If you are saying 1 divided by 20 divided by 30, this is something as 1 divided by 20 over 30. And changing the division to multiplication, it is 1 times 30 over 20, which is 30 over 20. So we have 0 here, we have 0 here, this goes with this, we have 3 over 2. So that is it on this introductory video. I will release another video to cover them in details and solve as many questions as possible. Question. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to share with others.